Okay. Bird, you've done loads of DJ and you've even done stand up. So this telling the world about yourself vlog thing. Where well, should we walk in the park? Dina, get my notes ready. You get the feeling this could take a while. Give him a break, he's doing fine. I knew I should have stocked up on snacks. Okay. Press record. Oh, it's already recording. Good. Okay, so. I'm Bird. Perfect start, bro. How was that a perfect start? It's always good to leave some room for improvement as you go on. So it's perfect. Come on, Bird. You can do this. So, what's my thing? I'm not sure, really. Have I even got a thing? Have I even got a thing? Says the boy who is so obsessed with music. Might as well have done with it and get his headphones glued to his head. I suppose if you really pushed me, I'd have to say I don't mind music. Don't mind music? Less. You can really lose yourself in music, and especially doing mixes. It's harder than it looks, or sounds. Loop that! Loop that! So when you nail it, it just feels great. Man! They call me Lethal G cause I'm Lethal C When I spit bars on the M.I.C. With the DG kids doing DG busy I'm not even sure what DG is he I guess I got my mixing skills from Reggie Reggie is it now? From our dad that is <laughs> And even though I know I'm not terrible at it I can still be nerve wracking letting other people hear what you've done You're playing my music? I know, I found it on your laptop Jay lends it to me so I could do an essay <laughs> Yeah, you would make a brilliant DJ <laughs> That's what I thought, so I put it online so everyone can listen. You did what? Don't you ever touch my things again. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be loosening up a bit about stuff, but music's important to me. Really important. Well, that's not been too terrible so far. Yeah, not too terrible is just what I was going for. So thanks for the support. You know me, support is my middle name. Support might be a less embarrassing middle name than... Shh, bro! <laughs> The walls have ears. Okay, next one. My friends. I guess I'm good mates with pretty much everyone here. Yeah. But if you ask me to narrow it down to one person. And so, the million dollar question is, will Bird Wallace pick his own brother who's had his back all his life? Or is he gonna go with Candy Rose, who he's known for 10 minutes? someone in the DG who I can always rely on to make me smile. Someone who's always there for me and just gets me, I guess. The awkward silence from the older Wallace brother suggests there could be a controversial decision. So that's why if you ask me to name my best friend in this place, it would have to be Candy Rose. And there you have it. His own brother publicly snubbed. Quite remarkable. Oh, bad. That's so sweet. What to say about Candy Rose? I don't know, she's just kind, I suppose. And really thoughtful. And really pink. And a good listener. That's what friends are for. This is our 10th care home. And each time we move, we get further away from our old life. It's really hot. Hot on G. What happened to your family? Like all of us. They let us down. But he's younger than me. He couldn't understand it. He thought they'd come back for us, but they didn't. OK, this next one's a bit awkward. Are you saying the last one wasn't? It all started because Candy Rose is such a great friend. <sighs> such a great friend. She's always got my back, and she's forever bigging me up, telling me I can do all kinds of mad stuff. If any of you lot are brave enough, I'm going to be hosting the Talbot Ward Under 16 Comedy Competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if anyone is interested, there'll be a sign up sheet in the office. And... Let's head there now, Fred. You should so do this. Nah, it's not really my thing. You always make me laugh. You'd be great, bro. We'll just leave it to people like Amy. I know it came from a good place, but when Candy Rose rushed off to sign me up. That was like my absolute worst nightmare coming true. Why did the invisible man turn down the job offer? Because he couldn't see himself doing it. 
what do you think? Um, do you have anything more personal? What do you mean? Well, the best comedy is personal. It's what you know, what you've experienced. After that rehearsal, who'd have thought that I'd actually end up totally smashing it? All it took was a complete rethink of my material. Personal? Yeah, I could do personal. More's the pity. I live in a care home. Yeah, I live in a care home. How about a big R? Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. And you get all sorts in care. Good kids, bad kids, semi-conscious kids. Flo is so lazy. If she woke up from a coma, she'd turn back and go to sleep, you know. <laughs> Can I have one more week? <laughs> We've all got that stupid mate, right? Yeah, mine's my bestie, Mandy Rose. Oh, so stupid. Someone told her to take a chill pill. So the next thing I know, she's at the chemist asking for a prescription. <laughs> I think maybe we should make a way home. Thank you very much, I've been Bird Wallace. I couldn't believe it had gone so well. But the good feeling didn't last long, once I really thought about what I'd done. All that stuff I said about Flo and Mandy Rose, it hadn't exactly been kind, had it? You call me stupid, and I reckon you're right. I am stupid, because I believed in you. <sighs> anyway, water under the bridge. And obviously I know you don't get chill pills from the chemist. They stopped selling them years ago. That was a bad day, and it was all my own fault. But believe me, I've had worse days than that. Come on. You're in here. When you're into double figures with your care homes, it's safe to say life's not been a walk in the park. Well, this few bits and pieces are okay for you. I know you didn't get much of a time to pack. I'll see you in the morning. Sleep well. When you've been used to life with no friends, and then you get some, and then they turn on you. That's as bad as it gets. So Who did it? <gasps> Come clean now, and I will give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, you were all better than this. They say you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. It was bad. Not in this place. But why would Bird do that? Who knows what goes on in his head? Does anyone know? Do they? Well, you know what? I'm right here. What if he's covering for Jay? Jay went with Candy Rose to see his social workers. He's to blame. Him, him, him. And the worst thing about it was everybody not believing. I think we know what he means by everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Spell F-L-O-S-S. -S. There's no smoke without fire, usually. You've got mud on your shoes. No alibi. You've always videoed it all. I think you're running out of suspect. And... We've been out of time. It's nearly three o'clock. Time to confess. What I needed was proof that I didn't do it. This was what I remember seeing when I first walked down this morning. Twin was with Scott. Jordy Naz and Beck were out shopping with me and Lee. And we know it wasn't Geo Candy Rose, because they were out early to see the social workers. <laughs> I knew the vital bit of evidence must be out there somewhere. One of these did it. I'm going to find out who. Everyone's got an alibi, Jay. Floss, Viv, Sasha, even Katie and Taz. They were playing around with a cricket bat and a ball this morning. Katie. Being judged, Taz, was bad enough, but actually knowing who had done it just made things worse. The only way to prove that it wasn't me would be to snitch on the girls, and I don't do snitching. So I was just gonna have to take the fall. Listen, everyone, um, I... We broke the window. What? No! Unbelievable. What? It was... It, it was... was an accident with the cricket ball. I didn't realise it was that hard until... until I threw it at her. Bart's innocent. We could have talked to do. Yeah. We're all sorry, Bird. OK, fine. I'm sorry. Well, I don't exactly help myself sometimes. I'll be more open in future. So, all in all, I dare to forget. Although, fair play to Katie and Taz for owning up in the end. What makes me mad? Not much, really. I'm a pretty calm kind of guy. Although, there is one thing that really winds me up something wrong. And that's being lied to. You think I'd get used to it, really. 
after being lied to all my life by people who are supposed to be setting a good example. Look, you're not allowed to see us without the social worker's permission. No, rules can't keep the Wallace boys apart. <laughs> I've got to go. Sorry. Cool. There's no rush. But look, if you want to hang out later, I'm going to be at the arcades, yeah? Bye, Dad. Hey, guys. Sunshine's coming. I don't want to go into this too deeply, but let's just say when certain people start promising the earth, I don't hold my breath for any of what they're saying will actually happen. Are you having a pop at Dad? <laughs> Look, I know he's not exactly the perfect father, but he's the only one we've got. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're his favourite. Look, Noah, Bird, you've done a top job raising Jay, and I'm grateful. But yeah, you're not by yourself anymore. His favourite? That's not true. That is so true, and you know it. Well, so you, you don't want me? Of course he does. We're a family. Look, it, it'll be easier to get in the housing if it's just the two of us, you know? You mean three? You said Mum was going to live with us too? Yeah, maybe. You never know. <laughs> Wait. You told us you've already got a flat. It's been decorated. Yeah, look, what? Well, I, I can explain. And how many lies you been telling us, eh? Have you even listened to my mixes online? I'm all about being a DJ. I mean, where's your equipment? I don't see it anywhere. Noah? Who here is it? Bro, where are you going? Dad? In here, maybe. Noah, look. What's going on? Don't! What's this? Is this bed yours? Dad? Are you living here? I've seen what can happen when you're always hiding from the truth. It never works out. Forever pretending that stuff's different from how it really is. I guess that's why these days I do always try and tell the truth. And do my best to get things out in the open more. Although, there are some things best left unsaid. Things I'd never tell. Why don't you love me, Dad? Because you love my son. So that's me. Killer mixes, sometimes funny jokes, lots of friends. No lies. Definitely no lies. You do know I know about Dad, don't you? What? You're absolutely right. He's never gonna change. Good job we've got each other, eh? Brothers against the world. Yeah. Too right. Fancy getting thrashed at table football? In your dreams, big bro. In your dreams. 